Alright, what's going on everyone? I'm a member of the Blender community, and today I'm going to discuss with you guys two ways of making pipes that I found useful in my renders. Now these are two different ways, one is easier for one pipe, long, straight, curved, whatever you want, and the second one is better for multiple pipes, usually going through one or two curves. So let's get into it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a cube or object of your choice. In this case, mine is going to be a cube. Next, what you're going to want to do is tab into edit mode, hit X and V. This is going to delete all of the vertices and simply leave one origin point. This will allow you to technically place vertices without having any object interfering with it. Next, tab 1 to go into front view, hold control, and left click. What this is going to do is it's going to place a vertice for you to work off of. Now, hit shift S and go to snap selection to cursor. What this will do is it'll bring your vertice to the center wherever your cursor is at the moment. Hit extrude Z. And now you're going to be shaping your pipe. You can extrude it on the X, you can extrude it on the Y, and you can extrude it on the Z. There we go. This is the shape of our pipe. This is the shape that we want. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to bevel it. So tab in edit mode once again, double tap A to select all of your vertices, then tap on W and click bevel. What this is going to do is it's going to allow you to smooth out your edges so your pipe looks more natural. But you notice if you move it, it doesn't really smooth out your edges, it just sort of selects vertices and unselects vertices. Well, the simple solution to this is tapping V. If you can see down at the bottom, tapping V will allow you to smooth out your vertices only. So this would mean if we had faces, it wouldn't smooth out the faces, simply your vertices only. And what you can do is you can move to the left or right. What you can see is it splits this up into two vertices. Let's make this into four vertices. You can change how smooth you want your pipes to be this way, and you can change the resolution of the smoothness this way. So we're just going to leave it like that. Tab out of edit mode, now we're going to convert this to a curve. Hold alt and press C. When we do this, a menu will pop up saying convert to, click on curve from mesh slash text. What this is going to do is it's going to modify it into an easily changeable curve, as we can see here. Next, what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to click on the object data panel in the properties panel over here, and go from fill to full. This is just going to set up our pipe so it is a full pipe. Now we can tap out of edit mode if you want, and if you look, you will see a bevel option. Click on the bevel a few times just to see what it does, experiment a little, maybe drag it up, and you can see that a little pipe is being created here. But the pipe doesn't look too high resolution, I mean it kind of looks like a square on the bottom. But if you came here for a square and that's what you wanted, there you go, good for you, you can leave now. But for those of you who want round pipes, just like the rest of us, you can click on the resolution to turn it up a little. And as you turn the resolution up, you can see that your pipe gets a little bit better. The highest resolution I would recommend is 8, simply because we'll turn subdivision on later. Speaking of subdivision, we are going to convert this into a mesh now. So hold Alt, press C, and we're going to convert this back to a mesh. So press curve slash meta slash serve slash text, and that is a lot to get out. Click on that, and your curve will be gone. Now what you can do is you can hold Control and press 2, turn on smooth shading, and you have a simple pipe and you can still modify this pipe you can still drag it down you can still modify it within its parameters but that is mainly what you're going to get now on to the second version the second version was the version i learned first and i soon learned it wasn't as applicable as the first version this version requires you to create a circle extrude the circle into a cylinder type object with no faces on the top or bottom and to turn it and to curve your pipe, what you had to do is you had to select a vertice on the end, hit shift S, go to cursor to selected, then select the top bit here, scroll down, click on spin, and then extrude your pipe from there. Now, there is one advantage to this that the simple clicking and bevel method does not have, and I'll explain this. So if you want to follow along with me, you can do it now. Hit Shift S, cursor to center to make sure your cursor is in the center. Next, hit Shift A and create a circle. Go into the Modifiers tab, click Add Modifier, and go to Array. What this is going to do is it's going to create multiple circles. 
Let's do three. Now click apply. Now we have three circles all right next to each other in edit mode. Now what we're going to do is we're going to spin them. So press extrude, press Z, extrude it however far you want. Then go to either one side of the pipes or another side of the pipes and click on the farthest vertice that you want to spin around. So if I click on the right vertice, my pipes are going to turn 90 degrees to the right. If I click on the left vertice, my pipes are going to turn negative 90 degrees to the left. So now that I've clicked on the right vertice, I can hit Shift S, cursor to selected. And the reason why we're bringing the cursor over here is because the spin tool, it spins the vertices around the cursor. So if you have the cursor in some random place, it won't work out well. Hit Z, hit B, and drag the window across to select everything. The reason why I hit Z is because if you didn't hit Z and you just hit B and selected everything here, it only select half of it because you're not in wireframe mode and you can't see through other vertices. So select everything here and simply hit spin. And what this is going <laughs> what this is going to do is it's going to spin your pipes. And I should have mentioned this before, this all depends on your view of the 3D cursor at the moment you hit spin. Because we're up here, it applied a spin that was slightly off. Instead, if we were in front view and we hit spin, it would apply a perfect spin just like this. And after that, we can hit extrude and hit X, and we have a pretty good spin. After that, hold control, hit two, hit smooth shading, and we have three pipes going right next to each other just like that. We can also extrude the bottom, and we have a nice little bend right here. In my personal opinion, I only use one pipe when I'm rendering most of the time in my renders in which I need a pipe, so I would recommend using the first method over the second method, but you know two methods in case you need them. That was it for the video, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe, I have been a member of the Blender community, I'll leave my gaming channel down in the description, and I'll see y'all later.